Hello and welcome back to part three of Muhammad in the Bible. Live on earth won't listen to Moses and the prophets. They won't listen even though someone rises them from the dead. So how can we listen to Moses and the other prophets if they are already dead? Clearly it means through their teachings. Again, Jesus says, quote, Nevertheless, I will tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go, for if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. John chapter 16. Right, and this is because it is through his death, when we experience his death for the forgiveness of our sins, then we are made cl clean and seen right in God's eye, eyes, and he sends the Holy Spirit to live inside us. Seven. In the Quran, we find the answer to who Jesus is really talking about here. Jesus says in the Quran, chapter 6, verse 61, quote, I am the messenger of Allah sent to you, confirming the law which came before me, and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmed. Uh, Ahmed, of course, is a variation and another name for... Okay, well, he just tacked these words onto the words of Jesus. And do you even... Let's look at um, that verse you're giving, uh, 61, in the Quran, and let's learn from it. Actually, let's see what we can take out of it. 61 and verse 6. Okay, whatever. Um, and remember why uh, of X... And remember, Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am the messenger of Allah, sent to you confirming the law, which came before me in glad tidings of the messenger to come, whose messenger shall be Ahmed. But when he came to them, saying with clear signs, they said, This is evident sorcery. Who does greater wrong than the one who invents falsehood against Allah, even as he is being invited to Islam? And Allah guides not those who do wrong. Their intent is to extinguish Allah's light by blowing with their mouths. But Allah will complete the revelation of his light, even though the unbelievers may desist, detest it. It is he who has sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth, and he may proclaim it over all religion, even though the pagans may detest it. Now, this, I thought, was... The story when Jesus was speaking um, at his birth, but I believe that's actually in chapter 4, um, where, where Jesus uh, is speaking... Um, right after he was born. Now, this shows us what? That Jesus was a prophet before he was even taught. And that he had that he was taught before he was even born. Meaning, he existed with God before he was even alive in this world. So, do you agree with that? And it's pretty obvious that Muhammad just tacked these words onto Jesus' mouth in the Quran. Because he didn't know him, and nor did... Uh, anybody around the time know Jesus. It is only the Christians through the Holy Spirit that know God. Um, but as we're seeing here, bits and pieces of the Quran showing the truth about Jesus. Because Muhammad did not know Christianity and he didn't know when he said that Jesus is the Word of God and the Spirit of God that what he was actually saying is that Jesus is God. Because the Word of God is eternal and the Spirit of God is also eternal. As 3 verse 45 and 4 verse 171 of the Quran says, messenger of Allah sent to you, confirming the law which came before me, and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmed. Of Ahmed, of course, is a variation and another name for Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So in my next video, I will talk about the Greek word used for the spirit of truth or comforter, that is, paraclete, which Christians say, of course, means...